Hello, I thought I'd show you guys how I heat treat my knives. This is a Malaysian style wood carving knife made out of 1080 CRV2. This is a two burner Hell's Forge. That's what I'll be heat treating in today. Well, that's pretty warm. I'm gonna put it in tang first. Once I get the tang heated up, I'll spin it around and do the rest. Ideally, I'll heat it to 1525 and let it sit. Hey, Kenneth, I need you to turn that off. Thank you. Now, one of my challenges is going to be to not let the thin parts of this knife get overheated because I did grind it pretty thin. So I need to see when it's non-magnetic. Right now, it's magnetic. Once it's non-magnetic, I'm gonna try to heat it a little bit hotter and keep it there for as long as I can, but probably not more than five minutes, even though 10 minutes would be ideal. Just about non-magnetic, not quite. After I get this out, I'm going to let it cool and still air. Alright, it's going to sit still air. Ow. So we got the knife sitting in the vise over there. I'm going to get my quench oil ready. Parks 50, quench oil, closest to water. Really doesn't crack your blade and warp it nearly as much as water would. Here we are, it is cooled down to black. As you can see, still straight. The plan is heat it up to non-magnetic and quench it. It should be perlite at this stage in perlite has an even structure of carbon running lines through the ferrite. And so as soon as this turns into austenite, which is gonna be at the moment that it's non-magnetic, uh, it should be in the perfect position to be quenched. That is some information I learned from Knife Steel Nerds. Thank you, Laren Thomas, for, for your experiments. And I'm gonna put them to work. Unfortunately, I don't have anything to test the hardness except for a file. All right, here we go. Heating the tang up first. I've got the tang right underneath the gas. Oh, it's getting hot now. Checking for non-magnetic. Almost. Almost. Yep, that's it. Here we go. That's some smoky stuff. All right, that looks pretty straight. Nice. Man, one thing I noticed is different about this, other than I was using canola oil before, is how well scale just like flakes off when I quench it. Oh my gosh. So much easier to get rid of later. That is awesome. Ugh. 
let it sit there while it turns to Martin's sight the rest of the way, and then we'll test it and see how hard it is. Let's see if it skates a file. Oh yeah, can you hear that? Very hard. Nice, oh man. That's actually the first time I've done one like that, where you turn it to perlite and then get it to non-magnetic and put it in right at non-magnetic. Thank you for watching. I hope you can have a chance to get out there and make something to heat treat because it is magic. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Oh, hey. right, you ready? Hang on. All right. Wow. That's sharp. Whoa. That's sharp. This camera. Oh my goodness.